So you are thinking about moving to the greater Phoenix area and you want to know what the job market is like out here. What are the different industries that Arizona is known for? What companies are moving here, especially since post COVID? What's going on in the job market in the greater Phoenix area is coming at you right after this. Hello, this is Cheryl Willis over at the Real Agent Now Group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if this is the first time to our channel, you're going to want to tap that little subscribe button and tap that little bell so that you are notified each and every time we release a new video. We are getting dozens of calls every single day and we love it. Look, if you're thinking about moving to the greater Phoenix area and you have some just questions about what's going on, especially in the job market. What industries does the greater Phoenix area have? Also, you know, what about lifestyle? What about price points? Look, there is so much going on and craziness. It's kind of hard to make heads or tails out all by yourself on the internet, especially if you're just looking at the houses. Look, this is why we're here. We want to help you answer all those questions that you have and you have no idea who to call. We love helping people relocate here to the greater Phoenix area. And if this is not the right area for you, we will make a recommendation based on your needs, wants, um, to maybe one of our channel partners. Look, you can't make this change on your own. So pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. So if you are asking yourself, is Phoenix a good place for a job? The answer is yes, hands down. Look, the Phoenix metro area is slated to be number two in the top rated job growth markets over the next decade. In fact, the greater Phoenix area is anticipating over a 15% job growth compared to the national average of about 7%. So we're gonna see not only consistent job opportunities here, but career advancement and more companies choosing Arizona as their place of operations. We are going to break it down for you by industry in this video. So don't go anywhere because I think you're gonna be really surprised. Let's start with, we are dubbed Silicon Desert. So what exactly does that mean? Okay, so we've all heard of Silicon Valley in San Jose, California. That's actually my hometown. And when San Jose got so built up and everything around it just started exploding, a couple decades ago, one company took a really big chance on Arizona and Intel moved out here in the 80s. That was just the beginning for the semiconductor manufacturing masses to come on out to the greater Phoenix area. Look, it's not just Intel anymore, although they do have four fabs and they're building two more. We also have Amcor, Raytheon, Nokia, Qualcomm. I'm telling you, there is a long, 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 huge list of semiconductor manufacturers, hardware, software, engineering, manufacturing, research and development, like it has just exploded. And last year, we got the best news of them all the world's largest chip manufacturer. They are the chip manufacturer for Apple Computer, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation. We just call them Taiwan Semi for short, is opening up their first US base. I'm not gonna even say office. It is a campus. It is over 3.8 million square feet. It is literally a city. It is unbelievable. Look, they're slated to start actually doing some of the manufacturing in late 2024, and they alone are bringing 8,000 jobs to the greater Phoenix area, more specifically in the northwest part of the valley in Peoria. Most of this area, by the way, is still dirt and desert, so we are going to see massive explosion in population, retail, commercial, the freeway's already there. So one thing Arizona is great about, we have an amazing freeway system and grid system and you can get anywhere at any time of the day like that. Okay, so the very first industry I wanna talk about is the aerospace and defense industry. And the reason is because that's what brought my ass here to Phoenix. I was in the information technology industry and my husband at the time was in defense work. He worked for, at the time, it was called GTE Government Systems. Like many other companies, they're realizing, why do we need to be in Sunnyvale, California? 
and that's when they came out here. But let me tell you, that little operation that was for their threat simulator management office mm -hmm, is now the ginormous general dynamics presence here in the greater Phoenix area. And GD is not alone. We also have Honeywell, we have Boeing, Northrop Grumman, oh my goodness, they just built the most amazing campus in Chandler and now they're expanding in Gilbert. L3 Harris and even Lockheed Martin is out here. Look, if you are in that space, literally aerospace and defense, you might want to take a look at Arizona. We have four military bases right here in Arizona and also the proximity to all the other military bases nearby in Southern California, in Texas, New Mexico, and of course the Area 51 in Nevada. Here's an industry you probably haven't thought about, and that is the autonomous and electric vehicle industry. It has been blown up here ever since our governor in 2015 signed the bill to allow testing and piloting for driverless vehicles. Let me tell you, we were a little skeptical too. He first allowed Waymo to come on out from California to the Chandler area. Let me tell you, their facility is right up the road from where I live. And I have to tell you, it was a little unnerving the first time you see a vehicle cruising around and there's no one in the driver's seat. And then when you actually get to enjoy it, it's kind of a, um, like literally the Jetsons. <laughs> If you are anywhere in the technology world that would cross over to those autonomous and electric vehicle type of jobs, we have Waymo out here, Lucid Technology opened up a ginormous campus just south of the Phoenix metro area in Casa Grande, and that is exploding down there. We also have Ollie, Intel is in the driverless vehicle. We have Cruise, we have Neuro, Beep, Embark, and let me tell you, with all these autonomous vehicle companies coming out to the greater Phoenix area, that also means the supply chain companies come out after them. So we have presence from Cisco, we have Dell, Garmin. There is a lot in the technology world that's here in the greater Phoenix area that people aren't aware of. Let me tell you, we have seen an exponential explosion of cybersecurity and advanced computer technology companies moving here to the greater Phoenix area. Look, right now, the predominant cities that are in this space are New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, Washington, and they are all extremely much more expensive than the greater Phoenix area. So as these companies continue to move here, we are becoming quite the market leader in cybersecurity and what we will be seeing over the next many years. Some of those firms already that have opened facilities here are ADT, Kodelsky Security, LifeLock, and Symantec. Operations are run here from some other large companies that you're maybe not aware of that they run their cybersecurity here, and that is Amazon, Honeywell, Intel, and even Chase Bank. I'm telling you, it's more than what people realize is going on out here. Arizona has only just begun. And then of course we have the finance and insurance industry. Phoenix has 74% higher concentration of finance and insurance companies than the entire nation as a whole. Look, when I was growing up, I remember, you know, those being New York City, San Francisco, Dallas, isn't that where they made all the pennies? <laughs> At least that's how I remember it. The point is over the last seven to eight years, we have seen so many companies in this industry sector move to the greater Phoenix area. Some of these large companies are American Express, Chase, PayPal, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and it is continuing to grow. Some of the other companies that you'll find here, the insurance companies, again, it is growing unbelievable. Over 50,000 jobs here in the greater Phoenix area, just in the insurance industry. Allstate, Cigna, Humana, Progressive, State Farm, huge, gorgeous buildings in Tempe, USAA, Farmers Insurance. And let me talk about one other 
finance industry that I'm sure many of the millennials would be very interested to hear. Robinhood is right here in Phoenix, Arizona. The healthcare and biomedical industry has always been a big one, but it is really starting to take off especially with the population growth that we've had here in the greater Phoenix area. As far as a market pool, and this is what companies look at before moving their operations or opening new operations, is where is there a stealth of market pool? And the first in the country is Boston, and the second is San Francisco, third is Phoenix with San Diego coming in at fourth. When you look at those four cities and you're looking at the cost of living, the lifestyle, and just the overall health and wealth of your employees and also your customer base, Phoenix seems like a natural. Some of our larger healthcare systems here are Barrow Neurological Institute. We also, like I said, have the Mayo Clinic and Banner Alzheimer's Institute are some of the largest ones that we have here, but we have hundreds of healthcare and biomedical firms here in the greater Phoenix area. They're estimating over the next decade, 88 thousand new jobs created just here in the Phoenix metro area. That's about a 30% growth compared to the nation's number at 16%. We recently, me and my team, have helped relocate quite a few medical doctors, pediatricians, and several anesthesiologists right here in the Phoenix area. Now they get to call Phoenix home. So yes, the greater Phoenix area is known as Silicon Desert, but does that mean that's the only type of technology that we have here? Absolutely not. We have some of the largest technology giants and disruptors here in the greater Phoenix area. It's amazing at all the companies that have maybe their headquarters in San Francisco, like Open Door, but guess where they are running all their software and IT. Open Door, Indeed, Lyft, Weebly, Yelp, everybody knows Yelp, right? PayPal, Infosys, Lemonade. It's funny, I've used Lemonade. Sendoso, I'm telling you, there's just so many technology companies, some of which you probably haven't heard of, but if you are in this marketplace and this is the type of industry that you're looking for, there are a lot of job openings out here for more than the semiconductor. Look, the greater Phoenix area has so much to offer in so many diverse industries. And then of course, there's a lot of people that move here when they get to bring their jobs here. Let me tell you, if you have thought even remotely about relocating to the greater Phoenix area, pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We wanna help you figure out if Phoenix is the right place for you, and if so, what parts of the Valley do you most resonate with? We wanna answer your questions, no matter how early it is in your process, a year or two years in advance. Pick up that phone now. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. All right, guys, until next time, see you soon.